Duval County shut them down two months ago. Now Nassau County is reporting two robberies in 72 hours at adult arcades. And Sunday night deputies say four people tried to rob the Trax adult arcade in Yulee. Now they're in jail. This is a new image of two of the men seconds before the gunman was shot by a security guard. This all happened just days after the Beach House adult arcade was robbed. The uptick in crime causing concern. We have seen an increase in activity around these arcade games in Nassau County since Jacksonville has uh, closed theirs up. The Nassau County <coughs> Commissioners will meet tonight to discuss if they should follow the same path as Jacksonville and close down the adult arcades. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris has been following these robberies since this summer and she's joining us live at the County Commissioner's office where the meeting is happening right now. Janice. Yes, Mary, that meeting is happening right now, but let's set the tone for this. Dozens of people have been coming from Jacksonville to Yuli to participate and play the games that are at the adult arcades here in Nassau County. They're doing that because all of them are closed in Jacksonville. Well, with that, there's the pros and the cons. There has been an uptick in crime that you just heard the sheriff mentioning that everyone is concerned about. So now the county board commissioners here in Nassau County are going to have a discussion tonight in this meeting behind me to talk about the pros and cons of this very popular business. Adult arcades have seen an increase in business since 200 adult arcades in Jacksonville closed. Do you feel safe going into any of the arcades? Some. I frequent uh, the Pot of Gold in Amelia Bay and a lot of the older folks that I know of frequent those places as well. But with the good comes the bad, an increase in crime near these adult arcades. Sunday night, three men and a woman tried to rob Trax Adult Arcade. A security guard shot one of the thieves. Just around the corner, another armed robbery at Beach House Game Room happened Friday. Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper says deputies are paying attention to the change. More activity as far as people visiting those uh, game rooms. So mm -hmm. uh, it had its increased uh, activity for crime. Uh, we see some drug activity around these places now as well as armed robberies. It's also causing a concern. Will there be more robberies? This is surveillance video of a man who stole money from a safe in July at the Trax Arcade. And this is surveillance video of an armed robbery at the 8th Street Arcade near Fernadina Beach. A masked man walked inside, fired around into the ceiling, and then opened fire toward an employee. I went to other adult arcades today. Armed security met me at the doors and those arcades were also filled with people. Business is booming, but it's unclear if violence will eliminate adult arcades in Nassau County too. And in the most recent armed robbery that happened last night, deputies tell me that they also retrieved two guns from that incident. Those were actually stolen guns from Jacksonville. If anyone comes to any of these adult arcades here in Nassau County, you can expect security to be at every last one of those businesses. Coming up tonight at 10 and 11, News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel will be reporting on what was discussed during this meeting tonight. She's actually in there right now with her photographer, so you can expect a full report tonight at 10 and 11. Reporting live in Nassau County, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.